فعاش القلب إخلاصا وافرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير الله is merciful upon the believers they feel that mercy the more powerfully they believe the more strong that belief is within them you have people mashallah they have a small thorn that prick them on their finger they already start questioning Allah. Oh Allah, what did you do to me? Why me? Why did this happen? And you have people, they have lost lives and limbs and still they say, Alhamdulillahi ala kulli hal. When the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he lost his son Ibrahim, he was holding him in his hands and do you know what he said? He said, we will not utter a single word. We will not utter a single word against what Allah has decreed. Not one word. We will only say that which pleases Allah. Inna lillahi ma akhada wa lahu ma a'ta. Indeed, Allah is the owner of everything He took away. And He was always the owner of everything He gave in the first place. When you have a son or a daughter, you are quick to think that's my son, my daughter. We are quick to think that. Allah allows you to say that, but He wants you to know deep down it is His creature. That's what it is. When He takes the child away before you, He loved the child more than you could ever have loved the child. Remember this. This is the mercy of Allah. He is merciful. People say, if Allah was so merciful, why are children losing their lives? Perhaps He did not want them to grow up in an environment that would be Merciless. So he took them away to a point of mercy. This is why when someone dies as a Muslim, what do we say? They have gone into the mercy of Allah. They have gone into the mercy of Allah. That's what we say, which means they are in a better place. Allah does not allow you to taste hurt beyond a certain point. He takes your life away. If someone starts slicing your body, may Allah not do that to us and may that never happen to us. You will feel the pain initially, but beyond the point you will faint. And beyond that point you will die. Why? Because Allah is having mercy on you. He doesn't want you to taste so much of pain. Beyond a certain point He says, no, you've taken away. When a person suffers a car accident and they've broken bones, many a time you will find them unconscious. That's the gift of Allah. He doesn't want them to feel what's happening. Did you ever think of that? People say they're in a coma. That coma is a gift of Allah. Perhaps if they were alive, they would not be able to endure the pain. That's the mercy of Allah. Talk of rahmatun lil alameen. So this is ar-Rahim.